Concussions have become a buzzword at all levels of football. The sport can't escape their growing concerns over head injuries. And as a result, this year, Sydney's football team is using advanced technology to try and detect possible concussions. Looking at Sydney's new helmets, you can't tell there's anything different this year. But with big hits such a concern, the school and Wilson Memorial Sports Medicine teamed up to put sensors in 30 helmets worn by players this season to help detect possible concussions. We had to talk to the kids about it and at first they were a little apprehensive thinking that was going to be the only thing that was going to take them out of a game and we said you know it's just another tool. While the players and coaches weren't sure what to expect, it was also unknown territory for the team's athletic trainer. The program does everything itself and, and if I'm needed it alerts me and um, then I can tend to the athletes. So it's actually been a lot easier than I thought it would be. It's a great tool to have because I'm not always there and, and able to see every play. Even the players don't think about the difference anymore. Offensive lineman Devin Rogers is one of the players with the sensor in his helmet. I liked it a lot. It's like it's a little more comfortable, a little more cushioned than what it was last year. Um, I feel more safe, cautious. Rogers has had his sensor set off the monitor on the sideline, but none of the hits have resulted in a concussion. And when the team first got the new gear, of course, they had to test it out. It takes a hard hit for those things to go off. And I mean, it, it's within reason. It'll tell you if you got hit hard enough, but it's it's a hard hit. Every time that, that I've been alerted, everybody's been okay. So um, hopefully it continues. While the Rydell Insight response system doesn't prevent concussions, the new technology has been a beneficial tool so far this season for the Yellow Jackets. Sometimes our sport gets under attack a little bit. Anything we can do to monitor the game a little bit closely and keep our athletes safe and use technology to help us monitor that, we're going to continue to do that. Now, so far this season, the biggest hits have come from the special teams plays. And one thing athletic trainer Beth Danklifson would like to see is a system to track all hits, not just the big hits that set off the alert on her monitor.